Hello, fellow armchair generals. It's around 1100 AD. King Conan II of Brittany is trying to oppose Avignon influences uh, as the King of France and is trying to keep Brittany an independent uh, country. And we are leading obviously an army of Bretons against the French. Hello everyone, of course this is Gamer1745 and we're looking at Field of Glory 2 Medieval. So that's the sort of setup to this custom battle scenario here. Um, we're gonna in essence play a game of King of the Hill it seems to me. Um, we're gonna use this position here to try to get there and maybe the river as well uh, I don't know how much the AI will let us do this but that is the current setup here yes I like to move each piece at a time sometimes yeah there's an easy group that I would move in mass mm. move this unit here and then we'll face it that way so we'll lay do that here and face it that way now we have these brigands we're going to try to get them to the sort of forest here, to the rough ground. Pretty easy to turn. So, get into these trees. These guys, the um, skirmishers, we're going to move a bit forward. Now, I like to give a bit of history, and I've actually just recently looked this up on Wikipedia for... Uh, I do not know Britannic. Is that right? Okay. Well, Brittany. Brittany is an interesting, interesting uh, country. From the maps I remember seeing, and I have looked at different, you know, historical maps. You know, his, you know, the like the extent of Charlemagne's empire, kind of thing, whatever date. Um, Brittany is never directly conquered by. Charlemagne or Charles the Great. It is sitting out on the edge of his empire. And Brittany is made up of an interesting group of people. Charlemagne is basically, and I'm sure there's a lot more details to it than I know, but Charlemagne is sort of the bringer of the Franks into Gaul and in which we get the French. Where before they were Gauls, and Gauls are a type of... I guess we'll go over the rough ground here. I don't think we'll be attacked or disrupted just yet. Extent. Not that mobile or maneuverable. So the um, but like I say, um, well, the Bretons were not um, conquered by or full. I mean, I th I think they were a subject peoples or whatever you call it, but they were not fully conquered by the Franks, and the Bretons were made up of Gauls that were there locally and a fairly large number of yeah yeah i guess we'll do that um britons britini britons i know um as in uh 
the people, uh, the non-Anglos, non-Saxons, the, the Celtic Britons, that are, you know, somewhat Roman, uh, Romanized Britons, that flee the Anglo-Saxon conquest of what becomes England. Others um, either were or flee into the hills and become known as the Welsh. Some hang out in Cornwall for a long time. Some in Northumbria for a long time as being Celtic, um, you know, petty kingdoms, if you will, small kingdoms that are um, opposing uh, the English. So that um, a lot flee back to the continent when the continent is still Gallic controlled. So Brittany is a very in an interesting mix of Gauls and Britons, Britons, um, as they become known as. So they are Celtic holdout peoples that are a mix. So that's sort of who these people are and why they're different than these people who are, uh, I would say, and more and more research seems to show that less and less replacement of peoples, more and more intermixing of peoples. Um, so these would be a mixture of Gauls and Franks or whatever, um, culturally, genetically, whatever you want to talk about. Enemy turning with gas is what I sort of expected them to just sit there instead of aggressively move up. Okay, um, I think I made it to there. I am not really good at judging, um, the distance to charge for um, cavalry units. So I'm like I say, I'm just not good at that. It's been a little while since I played this, but I just felt like playing and making a video. Now what I'm thinking of doing here is um, coming up and moving these guys onto the, the slope, not, and it's a fairly steep slope, um, not so much sit at the, on the crest here, and And bringing these crossbowmen up. Hmm. These guys to which flank do I want to move? Well, since we have a lot of force over here, I think we will go well yeah, um let's let's go over here. I wanna get these guys their full movement. These guys will get across the rough ground. I am a preferred firepower player, but we will see how this goes. Okay, we got some light javelin men here. They're going to come down here and they're going to. These guys are going to come to here. These are open ground spearmen on open ground. 
Okay. We're too far away to do that. You guys need up to here. Let's see. These guys are going to hang way back here. in here. I think we'll move these guys up first. No, no. I'm going to face that way. There we go. Yeah, it looks like we will have we're going to save our fire for a more effective heavy unit crushing. Then this with these guys. know that I'm doing this well here. Well, I think we'll save our shots for something better. Well, hopefully the enemy moves at some point. in the forest.
last human and last human. Fire a bit. Oops, uh, doing some serious damage to them. Mm -hmm. Good they survived any morale check because they weren't really much in the face of the enemy. Charge, we evaded. There's at least the hope. And if they did, we would evade. And here they may cut these guys off. That may not be a good thing. Something of a winning move. They can. They're not going to last long. All right, well, they held firm, but they took some significant damage there. Oh, I should have fired them first, probably, I guess. Well. It's while we're here, let's do what we can to disrupt some of their units.
Okay. Well, they're running away. They weren't able to retreat because they had a double line of soldiers here, not a single line. What I'm trying to do is get these guys a bit down behind the hill here to be a little less archery targety. I know those are crossbowmen, but you got the meaning. Okay, well. Well, that's actually a fairly useful of an attack. So I think we will just turn. Well, we'll shoot them. Oh, so they're now disrupted. So now let's really see about laying into these guys. They break. Routing feel very good. Still early enough in the match that. They didn't quite feel like completely routing. Yeah, you know, other units. Very good job. Very good. They don't know the place, so we don't need to. Most of you can study with general being there. Might get lucky and take out one of their generals. Um, I'm going to try to keep my soul or my horsemen from crossing this river. And I'm hoping to get them as they cross. I can turn and get these guys in the rear. Good.
got a few throws out here. Oh well. Well, looks like they've gone down into there, and, hmm. Well, it's likely to be a draw, but I figure now is a good time as any for... Just gonna turn at this moment. These guys here. I'm gonna somewhat count on the deep river to a deep stream or whatever to keep me safe from a flank attack. Okay, so let's turn and shoot here. The raw spearmen, and we're going to hit them with my armored spearmen under command of a general, and they get fought. Concentrate on the general. There he is currently is good enough. And these guys. Yeah, let's move to here. And turn around. Face the enemy. Oh, we can shoot once. Okay. I forgot to use them last turn. Okay. I think we've used everybody that we wanted to. They charged up slope and got disrupted. Disperse. All right. Well. Okay. Well, we did save ourselves from being attacked in the flank. There. They're just a little too far away. So we're going to move to here, and we're going to face that way. Think of an angle. There we go. These guys. Okay, um, yes, face them. Um. 
And for those who don't know this game well, once you become in melee contact like this, you can't shoot into them because they considered, you know, too easily for friendly fire casualties. Now here we can charge down there. It looks like they're going to be a draw. But by these guys move their horses, the, the French move their horses into the stream here. Well, we had two units here. Now, had I not come down here, they might have been able to attack this general with this unit here. And so that this unit would be fighting both this one and this one. But because we came down here, they are not. Now, this may sort of kind of be the same type of thing here. But we're going to come down here and impact there. Likely we will win. They held firm still, but even more likely we will win, and they still held firm and are disrupted. Okay. Shoot these guys in the face. That's the most effective. That would not be terribly effective. That would, but we're going to look at. These are skirmishers, and they might just decide to leave and get our units out of position. So, we have the higher ground, but they're disrupted, so they're not going to do so great. So we're going to charge them with our spearmen versus spearmen here. Breaking the route are very good. These guys. Oh, I probably should have shot at them first. Sub general. We have a slight possibility, and a high one if I was Richard of York, or if they were Richard of York's troop, of uh, just killing the general. They've already attacked. So now, we could come in and join this battle here. Um, no, we can't actually. So, since we can't, we will attack there then. With favorable odds and reasonably okay odds here. Move these guys around to the flank. Oh, we actually came up pretty well in that little scrimmage there. All right. charged uphill with their general and didn't do well and fell back. And they charged into our troops, did okay. And they did pretty well there fragmenting our unit there. The skirmishers, probably because I moved that skirmish unit behind them, they couldn't retreat through my unit, so that was a bit of a mistake by me. All these guys I forgot about in a while. And those guys, but those guys were already done for. Back. They fragment and fall back.
Oh, Berman Paul Ross. Well, I think we're going to end this episode here. If you want to find out how this battle turns out, trust me, it, at least in my mind, far from determined. Uh, I mean, we're doing a little bit better, but not terribly. Uh, so come back next time. And of course, hey, if you're new here, remember to subscribe. And everyone, if you can lick the like button, tastes different every time. See how this one tastes. See you next time for more, yes, more historical gaming.